Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and tonight I want to talk about PlayStation 5 and upgrading the storage. Okay, so PlayStation's been out now for six months in a few days. Six months and a few days. We still have not been told a date when we are going to be up to able to upgrade our storage or what SSDs are going to be compatible to upgrade the storage in the PlayStation 5. So I jumped the gun, guys. I freaking bought that um, Samsung 980 Pro um, SSD, one terabyte. It was on sale for 199 on Amazon, and you know I'm kind of, I kind of do things like that a lot. I just, I, I'm an impulse buyer. I mean, yeah, dude, I impulse buy bad. Like me and my wife, we went to get our oil changed today, and we came home with a brand new freaking car. Like, whew. I mean, our payments are exactly the same. So it's not that big, but gosh, dude, we gotta start that whole six years over again. So freaking ridiculous. I can't believe I saw, I'm 40 years old and I'm still doing stupid shit like a teenager. Um, yeah, so uh, aside from the whole, you know, getting the car thing, yeah, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD has a write speeds or read speeds of 7,000 megabytes a second, whereas the PS5 only needs. 5.5 I believe so I should be I, I don't see why this would not be compatible with the ps5 that would literally blow my freaking mind but if it's not then laptop you're getting an upgrade so yeah um I don't know man I like I, I kind of feel like it's just a, it's just another thing that's like bugging me about Sony right now. Like I don't understand why we don't have information for this. We have a new cryptocurrency that apparently uses SSDs to mine it. So like this 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 really sucks, man, because by the time Sony does decide to finally, oh yeah, this is the ones you can buy, all the crypto miners are going to have bought them out or blown them to garbage so they don't work no more trying to resell them to people, and then you're going to be buying things SSDs have a finite amount of writing that you can do to them. So do not, I repeat, do not buy any of these SSDs on the used market. Buy them brand new or do not buy them at all. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a good sell, 199 bucks for the one terabyte. That, that, that's a good buy for the one terabyte of storage. So if you, I really hate recommending that you go out and buy that without knowing, but I don't know, man. I, I feel like that's a, like a, a foolproof option to tell you the truth. I feel like, I mean, I put my money out there on it. So it, it's not like I'm trying to give you bad information. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm impatient and I am extremely anxious about this because I mean if you look at GPUs like how hard it is to get a freaking GPU because of these miners like this is ridiculous guys like we should not have to deal with this so Xbox you can buy an upgraded storage card for it and guess what the freaking crypto miners can't use it it only works on Xbox go figure like that's just another thing that Microsoft has done right to to like ensure its base has a decent user experience. I don't understand what's going on with Sony. Like, I mean, yeah, the PlayStation's fine and all. Like, it's great. I love my PS5, but Sony needs to like seriously give us some information because these SSDs are not exactly inexpensive. Like, yeah, the SSD will probably work in my laptop to upgrade my storage in there, but then I've got to go through and move everything from that SSD to the other SSD and copy it. Like, I don't, like, that sounds like a freaking annoying process, honestly, to tell you the truth. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what to, uh, what to make of this. I wish that. I wish that Sony would give us some information on this SSD thing so we can get it done and get and and at least buy the stuff before the crypto the crypto crazies go nuts and and buy everything out and make you have to wait 
even longer to upgrade your storage because this is ridiculous. And I, like, I honestly have a funny suspicion that Sony's not going to open that SSD slot for a while. That's why they made it a point to make it so you can, so you can offload PlayStation 5 games to the backup storage. To, I mean, even, <clears throat> I've got like a four terabyte SSD, or not SSD, but four terabyte, um, old, old style HHD that, you know, it will let me download or not download, but transfer games from my PS five to that. Like I, I really just think that's them saying, Hey guys, it's going to take us a lot longer to get this ready for you than we imagined because apparently we screwed up when we built the bay for that and it's not going to keep your SSD cool. So we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we did. So yeah, I, I probably just spent $200 on an SSD. That's not even going to work because it's going to need some freaking giant heat sink on it or something. And Fanny's, Sony's going to have to crank the fan up to like 9,000 rotations per minute just to keep it like kind of cool. Like, I don't know. Everything about PS5 to me just feels half-baked at the moment. Like, I, I, lit, I, I literally feel like, like none of this was thought out. They just slapped this thing together and shipped it out the door and were like, well, it works. Like, I don't... I don't want to feel that way about Sony. Like, I love Sony. I've been a Sony fan for a long time, but people are probably wondering why I'm always, like, saying negative stuff about Sony on this channel, and it's because, gosh, dude, I've been a Sony fanboy for so freaking long that I just, I don't know anymore. Like, I, I'm, I'm so irritated with this. Like, I'm, I put on, I turn on my games from last gen on my Xbox Series X, and they're freaking beautiful. They look amazing. I put a turn on my games from my PS4 Pro to my PS5, and they run exactly like they did on the PS4 Pro. There's no enhancement. There's no nothing except for a handful of games that have gotten an update to take more advantage of the PlayStation 5. Everything else is basically the same, and that's frustrating. And people are like, well, you want you buy away, buy a new system, and play old games. Um, <clears throat> dude, I bought a lot of games, and I buy a lot of games digitally. Yeah, I want them to work. I have a pretty freaking long backlog. Yeah, I want to be able to play them on my new console because I'm not going to break out a PlayStation 4 Pro that sounds like a jet plane to play my old games on it. I want them to work on my new console, especially in the age of digital. There's no freaking reason why we shouldn't have continuous backward compatibility with our new systems. And Microsoft is leading the way in both hardware and and user experience when it comes to backward compatibility. And that is why I will be buying all my third-party games on the Xbox. I have no reason. Sony has given me no reason to buy third-party games on my PlayStation 5 other than a gimmicky controller that, honestly, I feel like my Elite Series 2 controller is better. Like, I, I, I like the PS5 controller. It does feel better in my hands. But I'm more satisfied with the experience that i get with my xbox controller trust me guys that's that's pretty hard to say like like i love my playstation and oh yeah this is hard like all my ps4 pro games that are that are sony first party games they look amazing but that experience doesn't translate to the whole console experience because third-party developers they don't they don't put in the same work that Sony developers do for the Sony console. We get basically just good enough from them. Whereas on the Xbox One X, them games looked much better, played much better. They, yeah, they had more features. They had more options. They had better, yeah, everything was just better. There's no reason, like, what reason do I have to buy games on the PlayStation 5? And before you start, well, other games playing just the same as it does on the on the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. No, that's not the case. That's not what I have experienced at all. At all. Um, there might be a few games that, like, early on, when they first launched, they were performing a little bit better. All of those games have been updated, and they clearly run better on the Xbox Series X now that they've been updated. They don't have bugs. They don't have frame rate drops. I mean, Assassin's Creed... Valhalla runs pretty freaking smoothly now. It's been a while since I've seen screen tearing in that game. It, re it really has. There's, I mean, but there's other bugs that have been introduced and 
Like, I'm not going to get into the whole Assassin's Creed thing because it's an Ubisoft game. Ubisoft games are always buggy. They're always There's always something broken. They're, yeah, they're, it's an Ubisoft game. We all play them because they're good 99% of the time. Well, 90, 95% of the time, Ubisoft games are usually pretty good, and you get a decent experience when you sit down to play them. So there's no reason to kick that. Um, yeah, basically my experience on my Xbox has been better this generation so far and the end of last generation that... Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really disappointed that I have to guess on what storage to buy to upgrade my PlayStation 5 after six months of it being on the market. There's no reason for it to take that long. Unless there's something intrinsically wrong with how the PlayStation 5 was designed because these Samsung 980 Pros and the Western Digitals and the Sub... Subvert, I, I don't know how to say that, but there's SSDs out there that are faster than the spec that are the PS5 now. Like, they're better already. So what's the problem? Why is this... Why why don't we have this feature, Sony? Why do we not have this feature yet? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, like it really doesn't. Um, the whole thing was, oh, yeah, we're not going to turn it on until you get a... Like, I think there's something wrong with the design of the PlayStation 5, honestly. To tell you the truth, I, I, I think that they screwed it up. And Sony, right now, is trying to figure out how to fix this mess. Well, I'll tell you what. Xbox fixed the 360 mess, so Sony, you better fix this. Because it doesn't seem right that we're still waiting six months after launch for a feature that was supposed to be the platform of the PlayStation 5, the SSD. That was the platform that was sold to the public, was the SSD speeds and the user experience that will be deliverable on and because of that SSD. So, Sony, I bought me a place, I bought me a, an SSD that's faster than the specs you, you, you required. Can you tell me if it's going to work or not? Or, or what am I doing? You know, should I put it in my laptop or should I send it back? What should I do? Well, I mean, it's not even here yet. It'll be here on Thursday. So <laughs> hopefully uh, we get this figured out soon. Sony, I would like some answers. As a paying customer, I would like some answers as to when I will be able to upgrade my PlayStation 5 storage. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people out there that would like to know that as well. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.